Hello. Okay, we are going to do a video tutorial on a 3D eared bunny that's on a bib. So the first thing you're always going to do first is the 3D part, which in this case is the ears. So I have stabilizer hooped. And the first step is, of course, going to do a placement stitch on there. I'll go ahead and let that stitch, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the placement stitch is done, I'm going to place my fleece over the placement stitch, and we're going to go ahead and do the tack-down stitch. I'll let that finish, and I'll be right back. The tack-down stitch is almost done. After the tack-down stitch, if you're going to write a name or a year or anything, that's when you would do... Um, that step so now that the tack down's done the last step is going to be attaching the back you want to put your fabric pretty side down on top of this I didn't want to cut it so I'm using a big piece okay I'll go ahead and let that stitch in place and when uh, down here on the opening, remember to leave a little bit extra so that you can put it in on the bunny. So I'll go ahead and let that stitch and I'll be right back. Okay, now that that's all done, we're going to go ahead and remove these little ears from the hoop. I'm going to trim around them and I'll be right back and show you. Okay, we have our little ears trimmed. Now we're going to turn them. I need to get my stick. There's one and two. I had to get my little stick, it made it easier. Okay. There's ear number two. Now that we have the ears done, we're going to move on to the second part. On this part, I do use WSS. Um, because if it does the motif or whatever, if you use tearaway, it makes the bib really stiff. So, we're going to go ahead and load the second file. And the first thing it's going to do is a placement stitch to tell you where the uh, fabric needs to go. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the placement stitch is down, we're going to lay our fabric and we are going to do the tuck down stitch. I'll let that do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the tuck down stitch is done. Um, the next step would be the bunny motif still fill stitch that goes in there to decorate it. I'm not going to do it on this one because I'm using this really pretty fuzzy fur. So um, if you don't want to do it, just skip next on the machine and it'll go to the next step. So after that, it's done its motif fill. You want to put your WSS on top. You want this on here to hold those stitches up above on that fur so that they don't sink in. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and stitch out all of the design part on the face, and when it comes time to add the ears, I'll be right back. We are back, and to the ear part, the first stitch that it's going to do for the ear is a placement to show you where to tape your little ears in place. Take this off, 
And we're going to take this little ear and we're going to tape it right over this line. Okay, the other one over here. I'm going to get these tacked in place, and I will, again, remember to use your tape so that your foot has something to go over. I'll go ahead and tack these down, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that you have your ears in place, you're going to want to trim as close as you can to this line. I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that you have them trimmed as close as you can to that line, we're going to put it back in, and it's going to do a satin stitch over that raw edge. I'll go ahead and let that do it, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that your little ears are in place, go ahead and remove your scotch tape. And you're going to want to hold down these little ears. It's probably best to tape them down just so that they don't get caught up in the outside. And you're going to want to place your final piece of fabric. This is going to be pretty side down over the entire project. Make sure those ears are down. We'll go ahead and let that stitch out, and when it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, now that it's all done, remember when you're trimming it, leave a little bit here so that you can tuck it inside to stitch. I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the hoop and trim it and turn it right side out, and I'll be right back. Okay, and it's all done. You want to tuck in the ends and sew it. And then add your little cam snaps, and there you go. Thanks for watching.